Hello, this is a preview of our 7th of February granary sale, which is next Wednesday. On the website now, there's about 1,500 lots in next Wednesday sale, so lots to look through as usual, and it's absolutely crammed. We'll have a quick walk around together. I'll show you some of the things that um, we see as we walk around. But as you can see, the tables here are, as usual, absolutely full of things, interesting things here. So let's just have a quick scan along the table here. What have we got? Actually, this is nice. Uh, we often see these. These are by Lister, a very uh, well-made um, oak barrel with copper bands there. They just, I think they made these as planters originally, but um, just, just sort of stick a plant pot in there or wine coolers sometimes if, with a zinc liner. But I think they make, just make really nice sort of waste paper bins and they generally make sort of 50 to 80 pounds or so for a, a bin like that. I think we've got a few similar things to that this time. Uh, just what else have we got along here? This is nice. This is um, an Indian brass inlaid um, wooden box. Very ornate thing, isn't it? Look at that. And the inside, it's got the original um, perfume bottles, original key in there as well. Pretty thing, isn't it? It's probably about fifty pounds worth, something like that. Uh, further along here, oh, this sad chap here. Poor thing. You can't say he wasn't loved. I think he's been so well loved. He's lost all his hair. <laughs> he's been cuddled too much. We picked this up from a local house. Uh, look at him on wheels. And they called him Roly. <laughs> Fantastic. I don't know if he's a bit too far gone to be uh, worth much money, but hopefully someone will give him a good home. We'll tuck him back behind there. He obviously looks a bit shy, doesn't he? What else have we got on here? This is um, a French fire screen. Very elaborate. Um, gilt brass framed screen. It could do with another silk panel in it really or some tapestry in there but isn't that nice? It's about 1900 um, probably going to make sort of 80 or 100 pounds something like that. Um, so further down. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at the state of him. Sad thing isn't he? He's definitely not roly. <laughs> uh, what have we got? Ooh, another nice little box there. That's, that's a perfume box as well. I think it's I think it's got anything interesting. Oh, it's got a couple of the original bottles in there. This is rosewood with ivory and brass inlay. Again, about well, late 19th century box there. Um, we'll go around this way. Will there's some interesting bits of silver in here. Um, quite a few nice bits of silver this time actually. Um, on here. Actually, walking past this, I think this is fantastic. This is French, um, again about 1900, and it's walnut. But if you just come a bit closer to this door here, look at the quality of that carving. Really deep, high relief carving here. So this is carved from one piece of walnut, and these flowers are three dimensional on here. And look at the carving on that face. It's an incredible piece of carving there. Decorated all over. There's, a stretcher underneath that you can rest your feet on while you're writing your letters there. Well, that's a fantastic thing, isn't it? And that's probably going to make probably around a couple of hundred or so, which is not bad, is it? But that sort of age and quality. Um, good old butcher's block there. You often get these in to sell. But that's a good large size one. Well used as well. Look at that. Lots of grooves worn into it. Um, they're quite popular things these and it's got that nice um, painted wood base as well so that's probably going to make five or six hundred pounds something like that usual selection of hi-fi here which always goes very well we had a garrard record deck in last month that made just over a thousand pounds but uh, again some good names there with the with the hi-fi very good roll top desk down at the end um, 17th century blanket chest down here. Look at that in the general sale. Get so much of this antique furniture here now. So, so late 17th century, solid oak, nice small piece of furniture, isn't it? And we'll probably make probably 150 to 200 pounds. It's nothing, is it, for that sort of that sort of age? Windsor chairs. Very nice things, aren't they? A pair of those. Probably going to make, again, around £200 for a pair of winter chairs. Uh, let's have a look a bit further down here. I'll show you around the back of the sale. So this, this is nice. 
I didn't actually even notice this till it was pointed out to me, but it's um, it's a record cabinet. I've never seen one of these. I think these these are for a record player to sit on the top here, but um, it's for storing all your 78 RPM records, and you can just pull out the one that you want. Isn't that lovely? For a 1920s oak um, cabinet there. I don't, know what, don't know what that's going to make. Probably around 100 or so. Uh, let's have a look down the back here. You can see down here there's so much. You can hardly walk down here. You can't walk down here straight. It's just so close. But down here it's full of antique furniture. So 18th century carved oak cupboard here. Dresser bases, two nice old oak dresser bases there. All sorts. A small pine dresser there. And a really unusual um, sort of barrel coffee table with a glass top. Never seen one of those before. And garden pots down here. Absolutely masses in this time. So it's all illustrated on the website. So if you have a look through now, you can browse through the wholesale on there. Um, the sales next Wednesday the 7th at 9 in the morning, viewing on Saturday from 9 till 1, Monday from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7, and the sales at 9 o'clock as I said. But please have a look through. Thank you very much.